Hello Green Panthers welcome to Herbal Rejoice, hope all are doing good. In this video let's walk you through the magical health benefits of Varcha, also known as Calamus root or sweet flag, is a plant that grows in wet, marshy areas. It's a perennial plant that partially lives in water. The name, Varcha, actually means, speech, in Sanskrit. Chemical constituents. This plant has certain components like essential oils such as acorin, calamine, acorotin, and asarone. It's time to look at the Ayurvedic prominence displayed on the screen. It awakens digestive fire, digests toxins, scrapes out accumulations, removes accumulated doshes, destroys worm, benefits emotional problems, used to treat epilepsy, restores consciousness, rejuvenates the mind, purges the orifices of the head of kappa and armor and acts as a laxative. If you're thinking of using Varcha, it's good to know some combinations that work well with it, like mixing it with other herbs such as with Brahmi, Gotu Kola, Shankapushpi to improve mental clarity, cardamom, fennel, ginger to aid digestion, licorice, vasa, tulsi to clear lung congestion, and with gokshura, shilajit, coriander to treat urinary issues. The science behind. It has different tastes like pungent, bitter, and astringent. Its energy is heating, and its effects after digestion are also pungent. In terms of quality, it's dry, light, and penetrative. Indicator effect, VK minus, P plus. It affects various tissues like plasma, muscle, fat, nerves, and the reproductive system. It flows through the channels like the nervous, digestive, circulatory, respiratory, and reproductive systems. In terms of what it does in our bodies, Varcha has several biomedical actions. It acts as a carminative, cephalic, nervous stimulant, anthelmintic, laxative, antispasmodic, anti-inflammatory, expectorant. Health Benefits Now, let's break down how it affects different parts of the body. Mind Its main job is to sharpen the mind, enhance concentration, and make speech clearer. It also fights feelings of sadness and mental sluggishness. When there's a kind of toxin in the mind called, armor, Varcha helps remove it. It's even used in kids' developmental issues and in people who have trouble speaking after a stroke. It boosts certain energies in the body that are responsible for breathing and helps the mind absorb and remember things better. Digestion, Varcha's warm effect on the body helps calm the stomach, prevent unwanted fermentation, and balance out excess mucus in digestive problems like indigestion, gas, and rumbling in the stomach. It also helps in reducing obesity by enhancing a particular digestive fire. Lungs. This plant is great for clearing out wet coughs and congestion in the lungs. It's good for throat issues and can relieve sinus congestion and nasal problems caused by excessive mucus. But, if taken in high amounts, it might cause vomiting and is even used as a way to make people throw up in certain treatments. Urine, traditionally, it's used to treat urinary problems by removing mucus deposits. Did you know, Varcha is mostly grown in northern India as an evergreen rhizome, a type of root. Another plant called Acorus gramineus also grows in India. While the Bhavaprakasha mentions four varieties, Acorus calamus is the accepted and recognized species. Sometimes, it's purified by boiling it in ginger juice or milk. To counteract its tendency to cause vomiting, it's advised to mix it with other aromatic herbs like fennel, cardamom, or peppermint. In the USA, the Food and Drug Administration FDA, has banned it due to the presence of SSSRone, a substance considered carcinogenic. However, not all varieties contain SSSRone. Safety and dosage. It's also essential to note that while there are no known interactions with other medications, when it comes to dosage, it's generally advised to take between 1 to 5 grams of dried root per day or 1 to 5 milliliters per day of a specific kind of tincture. When to avoid. However, there are some things to be careful about. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should avoid it. It's recommended to take it for a month and then stop for a month before starting again. 
that's all we have for today. If you enjoyed the video please do like and subscribe. And if you found the content useful do share it with your loved ones. If you are having any queries let me know in the comment section and do check the description box. Signing off, bye.